Hello everyone, this is Brian Bentley at CoinOp TV, bringing you gameplay and commentary for Assassin's Creed Rogue on the Xbox 360. It's a tale as old as time, folks, a tale of betrayal, as uh, our assassin in the Brotherhood in New York, in the New World, uh, Shay McCormack, uh, feels betrayed, and you and you wonder, as you saw in the introductory video of the assassin symbol turning into a Templar symbol, you ask yourself, how does that happen? How does Shay McCormack become so, uh, you know, but feel to fe become feel so betrayed? This is that sequence, folks. This is the memory that leads us to uh, trade to uh, turn our backs on the Brotherhood. And if you happen to catch our previous video, we helped out Ben Franklin be able to uh, electric uh, electrocute uh, electrify the t precursor box, which showed us a map of where we need to go: Lisbon, Portugal. And now. We are about to embark on that trip. Pieces of Eden are powerful. Things are going to happen, folks. Stay tuned. In the meantime, while we wait for that to, while we kind of wait for that to occur, uh, as I've said before, there are a few set piece or a few uh, uh, missions that are that are critical to Assassin's Creed. You're going to have them all the time. You know, uh, there's. You know, the assassination missions, uh, tail and stealth missions. Uh, this is a set piece mission, you know, where they have a very distinct, you know, you, you know, you have, uh, there is a puzzle elements to this one as well, but, um, you know, so we're going to have to find, you know, as soon as I walked in this church, I knew right away, I'm like, oh, this is going to be one of those where I got to run around the top of the church thing. And usually they're pretty complicated. Um, and you know, you kind of have to like see things ahead and be like, okay, I gotta jump here and I'm gonna jump over there and I'm gonna climb up the wall here. And yeah, this one not so difficult as you will, uh, as you'll plainly see. I'm like, oh, there's a, there's a thing. All right, well, let's go over there. And I'm not gonna lie, folks, it, uh, this was really, really easy. Um, as far as the as what I would call an Assassin's Creed puzzle goes, this is this one was pretty simple. Anyway, uh, this is what I well, like. I said this is a set piece mission, so it's kind of like all right. There's going to be these puzzle elements. All right, then there will be quote unquote a reveal, and then something is going to happen, and you got to run. All right, uh, and I'm trying not to spoil it too much, but uh, let you know. Uh, if you happen to, uh, you know, in Assassin's Creed Unity, it happened, you you know, we went and we blew up this uh, marketplace and uh, this building and, you know, you had to run through the flames and blah, blah, blah. This is just like that. Um, it, the, what I really like about those is, it, you know, in these set-piece missions is it feels like you know, it's more than just you running around in an open world, which is great. I love op I love the open world stuff. I love running around. I love, you know, sailing my ship and doing whatever. But I, I like that feeling, you know, of not just being a part of the world, but having the world be a part of me. Uh, so I, I realize that sounds a little corny or whatever, but, you know, uh, sometimes you need a little corny in your life, right? So a few other things while I'm gone, I'm kind of jumping around and really kind of doing these really easy finds here. I mean, they're all kind of on top of one another. Anyway, um, a couple of things about Assassin's Creed Rogue. If you haven't caught the other video, uh, one of the things that I absolutely love about this game is simply the, you know, they still have all the naval battles and everything that has to do with the you know, using your ship in this one, you know, in as a, in Black Flag, obviously you were on the Jackdaw. Um, in Rogue, uh, your ship is called the Morgan. Which, uh, funny, quick funny story. Uh, when I first started, uh, when I first got my ship, I was very excited. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna, I got my ship, and I'm going out, and I'm. I see a big, um, I see like a big. I, uh, like a brig, right? Now, mind you, I literally have just gotten my ship, and I'm like, I'm going to attack that brig, because I'm going to take it down. And I sail the ship over, and it just pummels me. And I'm like, 
Oh, right. I forgot. My ship isn't built up like the jackdaw was. This is, uh... Oops. Uh... So, here's another thing. Like, I'm just going to interrupt what I was saying real quick. You see how, like, all of a sudden you just have to reach it? Now, what would happen is, is there would be, like, in, you know, in a... In a uh, I, almost, I almost said the words real Assassin's Creed game. I don't really mean that, folks. But, in all honesty, they have made these church sequences a lot better. And you would just be able to, you know, there would have there'd be timers. And you'd be like, you know, like, oh, okay, I gotta, like run at this point and oh i didn't make it okay i have to make these precision jumps at the right times because this timer is running to get into the temple we, and this is just like hey sh you know like, if anyone walked down there in theory it would just open up for them and they would get to the precursor temple it's like what but i digress going back to the naval battles so i'm loving the naval battles okay we or, or, i'm gonna interrupt myself again Peace of Eden? Oh, not so good. Not so good. Alright, so here's where, here we go with the running, right? It's time to go. So, naval battles. Um, they didn't even make this running sequence very difficult. I, I, I have played some Assassin's Creed running sequences where it is... It's hard. I, I'm not gonna lie. Like, there, there are ones where, you know, if you do not see where you need to run... You will die, and I will admit that there was one time where I need where that did happen during this game, or during the sequence. I did die because um, I thought I jumped. I, I thought I had gone towards the. Yeah, you'll see it in a few, in like two minutes anyway. Um, but anyway, naval battles. Love it, naval battles. So I, yeah, I totally attacked a ship that was way out of my league at the time. Now, of course, I'm taking off breaks left and right. Um, and one of the things I really love is there are really two sections. So there's there's the like the North Atlantic where it's much, where it's more open. You know, um, I love you know like they had those those set pieces that that was great uh, being able to run through a house. There's another one that does that where that one felt natural. Uh, they have one coming up that just feels really really set poorly. Anyway, that's not important. Um, but yeah, so you're in the North Atlantic. It's wide open. There are lots of ships. You got to attack ships and get, you know, get upgrades for the, the Morgan. Uh, and then when you go into the River Valley, which is where I've been, you know, uh, quite recently, uh, quite a bit. I've done a quite a bit of work uh, there. Is it's you know, um, like it, you would you would think it's a river. Um, so there's not as many ships. There are a few ships, um, but they're it's they're not in abundance. So it's not like I'm sitting there attacking ships all the time. Uh, plus the maneuverability is very very tight, and you really have to be careful with that. A little slide action. Um, so you get you just have to be right on top of it. Um, so you get to sail around, but uh, you know, the, so they're completely different, and I'm loving it. Um, I know in previous videos I have said straight out. If they had a new uh, new Assassin's Creed game with just um, you know just with naval battles, I would totally pay for that. This has that. I mean, it's not just naval battles. There's obviously these set pieces and many other missions that you have to do as an assassin and a Templar. So you know, I'm fine with that. Um, but I'm very happy to have a a new Assassin's Creed that I can play and get my naval battle itch and be able to scratch that itch for myself. Uh, there are, um... So after playing a lot of Unity, right, and then, here, here, this is this is that one I was talking about, where the other one felt natural, this one doesn't feel quite as... It didn't feel quite as natural to me. Now here's where I just, I thought I, I ran, coming up here on the right, you see the, the, the um... You know the little the the thing sticking out, and I don't know why I didn't run to that. I, I don't. I, I just I thought I could jump from there to grab something, and I just didn't. So, uh, well, anyway, we'll go back and we'll we'll do it again. Um, now we'll say uh, after playing a ton of Unity, uh, you know, and playing on the PlayStation Four. Playing Rogue in you know uh, last gens, uh, you know Black Flag uh, engine feels a little dated. Uh, I'm not gonna lie with the graphics and 
and just the engine as a whole, it does feel does feel a little dated. Uh, that is not to say that the game is not fun, and especially if you are if you have not made the jump quite yet, or you're waiting until Christmas, uh, and you are you know hanging on, or you're you know, you're hoping your parents are going to drop some money and, and and get you that next gen console. Um, in the meantime, Assassin's Creed Rogue is fantastic, especially if you're still on that. You know, you're still on Xbox 360 or PS3. It is a great pickup. And if you're an Assassin's Creed fan, you're absolutely going to need to pick this up. Because, honestly, I'm having a good time. Um, and really, when it boils down to it, that's all you can ask for. Well, if you've had a good time watching this video with us, be sure to like the video. It's now a little thumbs up under the views. Uh, so definitely uh, give, us, uh, give us a little love. And leave your comments below. How do you feel about Assassin's Creed? Do you like Rogue? Are you playing Rogue? Let us know, because uh, being a part of the CoinOp community is what we love. And the best way to do that, of course, is by subscribing to the CoinOp TV YouTube channel, where you get, where you basically get to everything that we do, whether it's, you know, Skylanders, Disney Infinity, or I'm dropping some Assassin's Creed on you. This is the best place to do it, and the best way to do that is to subscribe. Alright, I'm out of here, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.